Another batch of positive economic data dr helping drive another day of gains for stocks. For more on the markets, we're joined by Aaron Brown, PIMCO Portfolio Manager. Aaron, it is fantastic to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, so let's talk about this now co comeback of optimism to the market here. Do you still expect some volatility going forward, or does it feel like things have sort of stabilized? I think for the very short term, things have stabilized. We've gotten a slew of data that's been better than expected, particularly after the payroll print, which really sent market into the downward um, price action that we saw. Since then, the data that's come out has all been suggestive of the fact that the economy is growing but slowing and that the Fed is on pace to cut rates starting in September at a quarterly pace of 25 basis points. We probably get three cuts this year and another four next year. All of that said, I think as we move into the fall, particularly as we move closer to the election, there is going to be more bouts of volatility. I would say that as an investor, I would fade those bouts of volatility unless we start to see the economy really sliding towards a recession. But for now, the economy seems to be on track to a slowing trend, but still very much in positive territory. In a world where technological advancements are as constant as the rising sun, there are moments that stand out like the crescendo in a symphony orchestra. Recent news in the stock market has delivered just such a peak, putting tech giants Samsung and NVIDIA in the spotlight. Word from Reuters reveals Samsung's 8-layer HBM3E memory has officially passed NVIDIA's stringent qualification tests for its AI GPUs. This breakthrough is more than a corporate milestone. It's a pivotal development in the realm of artificial intelligence and memory technology. However, this news is just the tip of the iceberg. The nuances and implications behind it hold crucial insights for investors and tech enthusiasts alike. As the dynamics between Samsung and its South Korean rival, SK Hynix, continue to evolve, this development points towards a tectonic shift in the competitive landscape of advanced memory solutions. Let's delve deeper to uncover the ramifications of this breakthrough and what it signifies for both the market and shareholders. But first, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market. So click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. Aaron, um, we're going to hear from Fed Chair Jay Powell next week at Jackson Hole. What do you and what do you think and other investors are going to be sort of keying in on most closely in his commentary? Sure. So Fed speak of late has suggested that the Fed is likely to start cutting rates in September. I think that that's well understood by the market. The market is now pricing in. Um, a little bit more than uh, a 25 basis point cut um, starting in September. The market's pricing at about a 30 percent probability that the, the Fed cuts by 50 basis points. We think that that's unlikely. Um, so I think you'll likely see the Fed affirm that they're on track to start cutting at a reasonable pace that's data dependent. I think what the question mark is going to be is how that extends into 2025. Market pricing right now is is fairly benign. Uh, the market is, is expecting in 2025 that the Fed cuts at a 25 basis point quarterly clip. We think that that's likely um, accurate, but how the Fed responds to weakening data is going to be, I think, what's the, the market's really going to key in on, um, as well as how they think about the balance sheet as well, if we get any more clarity around that. The world's largest memory manufacturer has been playing catch up with SK Hynix in the race for cutting edge AI GPU memory solutions. Despite its vast experience and broad market reach, Samsung has been trailing behind its fierce competitor in the HBM3E segment. Now, with its eight layer HBM3E memory chips passing NVIDIA's qualification tests, the tech behemoth appears to be closing the gap. Recent reports indicate that Samsung's next gen memory tech is on the brink of entering mass production, pending a soon to be finalized supply deal with NVIDIA. If all goes as planned, shipments are scheduled to commence in Q4 2024, capturing the attention of both the tech community and stock market aficionados. For those unfamiliar, high bandwidth memory chips are renowned for their speed and efficiency, elements crucial for AI GPU performance. As artificial intelligence increasingly becomes a cornerstone of technological progress, the stakes for such technological advancements are astronomical. In the stock market, competition is fierce, 
and irony runs deep. Just as Samsung inches closer to solidifying its deal with NVIDIA, it's worth pondering. Isn't it amusing how technological breakthroughs are celebrated with headlines while shareholders remain glued to screens, biting their nails over fleeting percentage points? It's the classic stock market game, where the phrase trading blows takes on a literal meaning. Samsung's move to get its HBM3E memory tech certified by NVIDIA is backed by strong data that confirms the legitimacy of this new milestone. According to IHS Market, the global AI chip market is expected to surpass $83 billion by 2027, with a CAGR of 35.2% from 2020. The proliferation of AI applications in various sectors is undeniably pushing the envelope in terms of the demand for more efficient memory solutions. To further illustrate, NVIDIA's AI GPUs, known for their unparalleled performance, are an industry benchmark. Samsung aligning its advanced HBM3E technology with these gold standard GPUs provides a substantial endorsement of Samsung's engineering prowess. Moreover, let's not overlook the humbling tweet from an influential tech analyst. Samsung passing NVIDIA's tests is like getting an Ivy League acceptance. Welcome to the club, Samsung. About time you got your grades up. SK Hynix vs. Samsung For now, SK Hynix holds a firm grasp on the next-gen memory market, having successfully supplied HBM3E chips to NVIDIA. But what does this mean for NVIDIA stock investors? But can it keep its balance without toppling over? On a more serious note, the continued development and reception of Huawei's chip within China could give us strong indications of future global impacts. But what about NVIDIA countermeasures? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Investocracy. So given that there is still that uncertainty that could result in those bouts of uh, vol volatility that you talked about, let's talk about where you think investors should be positioned right now, right? I know that you are still kind of looking at the AI trade right here. Mm -hmm. At this juncture, where do you look? You know, we, we still have, even with the pullback, you know, you look at an NVIDIA, it's still more than doubled this year. Absolutely. but. I think that the earnings are coming in and suggestive of the fact that 2024 in the back half of the year and into 2025 is going to still be very robust earnings backdrop for many of the AI companies, specifically those that are really invested in the infrastructure and hardware build out within the space. What we saw coming out of earnings season in the second quarter is that the hyperscalers are still very much investing heavily in CapEx and into R&D in the next year ahead. All of that is going to be very supportive for earnings for the semi-chip conductor names like NVIDIA that are really supporting the growth in this sector. So I think you stay invested in the infrastructure names within the AI sector. I think you're going to continue to see earnings be revised upwards as we head into particularly into 2025. In addition to that, I think you're also starting to see a broadening out of sector participation in the market. We saw that a little bit in the second quarter of this year, but we really are focused in our book on those stocks and those sectors that are geared towards the middle income and the higher income consumer, consumer rather than the lower income consumer, where we're starting to see some degradation in the credit uh, data. While Samsung's recent accomplishment narrows the gap, it signifies a long-term battle that's more marathon than sprint. According to Reuters anonymous sources, the forthcoming supply agreement between Samsung and NVIDIA will mark a critical paradigm shift, potentially redefining competitive standards. Despite the secrecy surrounding the finer details of the deal, the stock market's response has been favorable, reflecting investor optimism towards Samsung's potential comeback. The billion-dollar question, why should investors care? Stock market volatility can often amplify or obscure the true potential of technological breakthroughs. For would-be investors, the central question is, what does this revered qualification mean for Samsung stock? If history is any guide, corporate milestones such as these can profoundly impact stock performance. For instance, take the data published by MarketWatch. Stocks for companies breaking new ground in tech innovations saw an average increase of 18% within the first six months post-announcement. Given the widespread applications of AI, 
and the growing need for powerful GPU solutions, Samsung is ideally positioned for substantial market gains by capturing a larger share of the AI GPU memory market, Samsung stands to enhance its revenue streams significantly. The potential deal with NVIDIA would enable Samsung to command higher price points for its cutting-edge memory solutions. Additionally, Samsung's advancements in memory technology could pave the way for further innovations, solidifying its market leadership. In terms of comparative analysis, SK Hynix has enjoyed a head start, but industry experts suggest that Samsung's scale and R&D capabilities could soon level the playing field. As we explore the intricacies of the tech rivalry, it's essential to note that the ultimate winners could well be the consumers who benefit from enhanced AI applications and investors who strategically position themselves in the burgeoning AI market. Samsung's stock reflects a cumulative growth trajectory bolstered by recent advancements in memory technology. With its 8-layer HBM3E memory officially entering NVIDIA's tech arsenal, investors should consider this accomplishment a testament to Samsung's resilience and capacity for innovation. According to analysts, the anticipated supply agreement with NVIDIA will act as a major catalyst for Samsung's stock, enhancing both its financial performance and market credibility. Forecasts suggest a potential uptick in Samsung stock by year-end, attributed to increased investor confidence and robust market demand for advanced memory solutions. But what does all of this mean for NVIDIA stock investors? Let's find out. But before going through it, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make. So if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. One of the other areas that you like that I honestly have not heard people talk about a lot uh, in a while is the Kospi, which is the Korean uh, stock market. It hasn't done much this year, much of anything. Um, so what do you think would change that? Sure. So I think one of the things that's been holding back the Kospi is the fact that it is about 13 percent of the weight is in the EV sector. And we've seen that come under a lot of pressure over the last year or so, particularly over the last six months. However, the majority of the Kospi, about a third of it, is in the semiconductor chip uh, sector that is very much levered to the AI theme. And historically, you actually see the Kospi trade pretty closely correlated with tech and with AI. It's decoupled over the last year and a half, but we think that that's likely unjustified. And I think that going forward, you're actually gonna see an accelerated move to the upside in the Kospi, particularly now that we've seen a lot of these EV names get bought up bottom out. And so it's a name that we think is cheap. They're doing a lot in terms of the value up proposition, in terms of corporate reform, which is not yet being rewarded by the market overall. And we think that there's a lot of potential for positive earnings momentum coming out of the Korean stocks, particularly out of the tech sector, which we think right now is very undervalued relative to how this tech sector is trading in the U.S. For those considering new stock market ventures, it is essential to recognize that investing in Samsung could be a savvy move. The tech giant's forthcoming supply deal with NVIDIA, coupled with its pioneering HBM3E memory technology, positions Samsung on the cusp of significant growth. Furthermore, the AI market's rapid expansion offers a ripe opportunity for well-timed investments. In closing, Samsung's recent breakthroughs and strategic advances present a compelling case for investors. The ongoing rivalry with SK Hynix ensures that innovation remains at the forefront, further driving market value. Now more than ever, it is a prime moment to stake a claim in Samsung as the company fortifies its leadership in advanced memory technology. Samsung's stock, with its promising future and sturdy market fundamentals, invites those keen on technology investments to join the ranks and potentially benefit from the company's upward trajectory. So, what do you think about Samsung's latest accomplishment and its implications for the tech and stock market. Share your thoughts. The conversation on tech investments is just heating up. And finally, if you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.